bird on a tree. Hi, Caleb here with Sigurds Photography. Today we're going to be taking you on a somewhat trail at Lake Arcadia in Arcadia, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy. So we set off from our car, you know, tell it, hey, stay cool. And we start on the start of the trailhead. Now, I called it a somewhat trail because it is a small part of a 12.6 mile trail called the Arcadia Lake Trail around Lake Arcadia. Um, and we kind of just snake, like, through it kind of we go on the trail then off the trail then on the trail basically just trying to see what I wanted to show you guys a uh, pretty yellow flower right there it's kind of dying though now Lake Arcadia is just right off the road from Route 66 and just down the road from Pops which is a basically a huge soda store and it has a huge uh, soda bottle right out front and they have all different kinds of flavors. I think last time I went there I found a teriyaki beef jerky flavor and then the Round Barn which is one of the more photo or photographed sites of Route 66. Now this trail is interesting um, just because of the site of the lake but it's a little bit windy. I'm probably going to have to turn that down a little. Um, but yeah, but you know, just off the water, it's going to be windy. And yeah, so we're in a field, obviously, headed towards the lake. Um, it's $7 to get into the lake. Um, but they have boating, and if you call ahead, you can have, you can rent a kayak. And yeah, there was quite a few people here today. You can see someone kind of standing off in the water there. Um, so I tried to avoid as many people as I could. Now here's where I decided I'm just gonna kind of follow what feels right, not necessarily that it was right. Um, obviously don't do that if you are going to a place you've never been before because you don't want to get lost, but I was mostly sticking to trails and there were, I had my trails app up on my phone so I could see where I was, you know, related to the rest of the, you know, roads and stuff. And there was some people fishing down there, so I decided to hang a right right there and head more into the actual woods. Uh, airplane right there. And now we are actually up on the Lake Arcadia Trail. I decided I didn't like the way I went, so I went the other way which actually turned out being the better way to do it. Now, it's hard to tell in this video, but this is more of a bike trail. You can see like the bike tracks along the path. Now, I'm personally not that skilled on a bike, and so some of those like huge roots coming out would throw me off really a lot, but people were just flying down these trails. Oh yeah, so that noise you can hear in the background, that sounds like crickets almost. Those are cicadas. They're kind of really loud. And I, I think they hibernate for like 15 years or something like that, something crazy. Uh, this is the green vine that I talked about in the last video of Lake Sanborn. Uh, we saw a dying one at Lake Sanborn, but that was a live one. So, you know, good to show you the difference of it. And I will link that video in the description if you're just that curious. Now that I thought was poison ivy at first, um, but it is not. It is a hog peanut plant, which is 
very commonly mistaken for poison ivy. Poison ivy has more of a like rough leaf shape and that one was very curved. Now we're still on the bike trail and I kind of jumped when I noticed what I'm about to notice up here but there's I look that way looking around and then yeah there's a gold gold spray painted bike sitting right there on the trail and I kind of looked around to see if I could see anybody you know hurt or anything and I decided to go on duck under this limb and you'll notice quite a few cuts in this video I was trying to get it down to a more manageable uh, video it was about 30 minutes um, but I got it down to just under 20 so that's the one hard thing about these videos or editing these videos sometimes is there's a lot to see um, but not a lot to talk about and so I try to have to find the happy median where there's not too many points that I'm not talking about something but you know you can only just listen to the cicadas in this one now it was a really hot day like it was about 90 degrees so I had a water bottle in my pocket you can't hear it crunching on this video but I could hear it walking the whole time And we're going to come out to a clearing up here. Now this is still on the bike trail. But it's just a different part of the bike trail, if that makes sense. There's a lot of arrows saying, you know, go this way, go that way, but none of them really made sense. Yeah, so as we continue on, we can get another view of the lake, kind of. And we can continue on. I was trying to decide on which way to go right there. And we end up going down to a dry riverbed. Now, Lake Arcadia is about 2.8 square miles. It's a pretty, it's a pretty lake. Um, yeah, seven dollars for a day, so that's not too bad. Um, and the other more than 200 lakes are all man-made, uh, which is crazy because. Oklahoma has the most coastline of any landlocked state, so doesn't touch the ocean at all, has the most coastline. Now you'll notice the um, red sand or red dirt in Oklahoma, which is one of the things Oklahoma is known for. Now, if you come up on a place like this that you are not very familiar with, just make sure you watch out for copperheads, which are snakes that live near or in water, and they definitely like to sunbathe on rocks like this, so you know, just don't put your hands under any rocks. Some more of that red um, rock and red dirt, and you can kind of see the dam off in the distance right over there. And we will start our way down the coastline still. It's a fallen tree that I thought was cool looking.
Now, I know a lot of people like wave sounds, and then it calms them down. So I tried to get a couple of wave sounds in this video, because the wind was blowing really good in this one. And we start our way back to the car. Now we're not going to follow the same trail back, just so you guys can see more things. And there was a campsite up there, so I decided not to walk through their campsite and go back down on the shore. Now if I'm not mistaken, all this stone is sandstone, which is pretty common in Oklahoma, which it's just basically packed sand that is into stone, that you can break it with your hands, but it makes good um, like blocks to go around in a garden, or to make a barrier of a garden. Now I didn't see any true poison ivy, but I guess that's a good thing, right? Because you don't want poison ivy. Now I guess another thing I haven't mentioned about poison ivy is not everybody's allergic to it. like. Like the stereotypical, like, oh, I touch poison ivy and I get a rash. Um, there's some people who aren't allergic to it. Like my grandpa used to be able to walk through poison ivy as much as he wanted and he would never get a rash. Um, but, yeah, I personally am allergic to it. Um, so I try to avoid it at all cost. Here, another plane going over. Now, Lake Arcadia and Arcadia is kind of not necessarily a suburb of Oklahoma City, the capital, but it's pretty close. And so most of these planes are probably coming from or going to the Oklahoma City airport. And back down onto the coastline. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Maybe. Or maybe not. Never mind. Okay. So. Yeah. So I need recommendations for upcoming ones. Um, I have a few in mind. But, you know, I'm starting to run out of short less than 30 minute trails um, and then after 30 minutes they go up to like two hours three hours and I don't want to do that but I also don't want to make you know seven parts of one trail um, I'm thinking about doing two parts on like late your mercury which is like that has seven hour trails but more going on you know a two mile trail just because that's the lake I grew up at, and I think it's a super interesting lake. Now, it's about to cut right here because I got stuck down in this little area, and I couldn't get out without climbing out. Um, yeah. So, I don't know why I'm pointing the camera at the ground right here. But look at that lake. Now there's a, quite a nice bench, you can see it right there, that you can sit on and kind of just enjoy the lake. Now I tried to sit there but I couldn't sit there for very long because of how windy it was and the wind was blowing straight at me. And it was, you know like when you go by the ocean you get that ocean spray, it's similar but I was getting that lake spray. And so I decided to get up and show them how big the waves were getting. Now that's also from wind and also from the like wakes that the boats were making out in the water. They were pulling um, tubes, which if you've never been tubing, it's quite fun, just a little bit dangerous. Uh, you just gotta, you know, the person driving has to pay attention to the person on the tube because, you know, it's a person that you're basically pulling behind a speeding boat on a 
inflatable. So. And yeah, we are getting close to the end of this adventure. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing these. Um, even if I'm, like, people aren't very much watching, I'm enjoying doing them because I'm going to be, you know, out walking anyway. And I would rate this little trail probably a 4.5 out of 10 just for it wasn't really a real trail. <laughs> That's the best I can explain it. So, yeah. So that was the hike at Lake Arcadia in Arcadia, Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we have tons more trails there, um, so just stay tuned for those. And then I think next week we are going to be hiking at uh, Lehman Mercury in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And we're going to have to cut that one into two parts because it is a pretty long trail. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.